Tonight is August the 20th, 2017. I thought I'd make a very quick video. Hopefully this will go very quick and right to the point. Uh, <clears throat> I was playing around with this thing as I'm always playing around with something. And um, I noticed that I have a, a good number of these tubes that, that flare up, made by Mullard, back in probably the 60s. Maybe even some of them made in the 70s. Maybe they even go back to the 50s. I don't know. They go way back. I've been playing with this stuff for a very long time, at least 50 years, more than. And I've seen these tubes ever since I was a kid. And uh, I, I started looking it up on the Internet, and I found out that uh, nobody had much of an opinion. They said, well, yeah, they come to the conclusion, all kinds of things, that, well, if the uh, impedance of the uh, filament supply supply was very low then it would provide excessive current to them and make them flare up well I think that's nonsense uh, secondly um, uh, the, it wasn't coded I don't know what the problem is I don't know what everybody's opinion is and maybe my opinion and from what I remember is wrong too but I remember that uh, I was told that they flare up like that to help degas the tube. Now whether that's true or not, I don't know. Maybe you guys know. We usually find out. Somebody that watches this video, I bet somebody out there knows. But anyway, it's okay that they flare up. This one and this one, and actually this one in here too. But these two right here, you'll be able to see very clearly how they, how they flash. I believe that's what they call it. These are the old Muller tubes. And I believe the Amprex do it too. This is a Mullard and this is a Mullard. This one says GE, but it's actually a Mullard. I promise. They're, they're, they're nice and cold. I can pull it out and show you. Uh, see right there, made in Corvette X7. Made in Great Britain. But it's just branded 12A. Uh, it's just branded GE. I've got a bunch of them here. I'm uh, very uh, fortunate to have all these really nice tubes. Let, let me show you some of the nicest tubes I think there are. There are. Uh, here's some Muller. They're called 10M series. 10M. This is a uh, 12AX7. Let's see. Then there's these uh, little Bugle Boys. That made by Amprex. It's got the little uh, tube there playing his clarinet. These perform really well, too. I think they're all equal, in my opinion. And the last one, uh, well, no, that's this one. This is another uh, Amperex. This one is actually branded Macintosh, but it's made by uh, Amperex. Oh, darn it, that's not the one I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you a, uh, got one right here, a uh, Telefunken. There you go, Telefunken. They have that little diamond there. It's actually a square turned sideways, you know. This is what a 12AU7. I'm I'm real I'm a real fan of Telefunken tubes. You can always tell if it's a Telefunken, even if all the artwork is uh, rubbed off, by looking at the base, because that same little square is uh, stamped into the base, and that that won't rub off. Hope you can see that in the camera. That's why you can tell if it's a uh, a Telefunken. These are really good. The Telefunken, the Mullards, the Amperex. You know, if, if they're still in good shape, of course, they, they burn out too. But anyway, let's get right to the point and uh, I'll show you how this thing performs with the little guys in there and then we'll quit. I mean, I'll even turn this light off. Well, no, no, I don't want to get that dark. You won't, you won't need to be that dark. Okay. Let's watch this thing when I turn it on. Here it goes. They flare up like a like a little light bulb in there. It's uh it's the wire right at the very uh, end of the filament where it hooks on to the uh, uh, to the wire that goes out to the filament pin. And like I say, I've already told you what I was told many long years ago why it did that. Those were the hi-fi tubes that everybody wanted back then, and I and I agree. You still want them today. Let's see how this thing performs. Um, I think you've seen all this before, but it, it doesn't accept. Well, look at there. I didn't know I was already driving it, but I guess I am. It does it 40 watts at 0.2 percent at a kilohertz. They perform exceptionally well, in my opinion. 
It's not to say that other tubes don't do well too. The old Mac amplifiers uh, seem to be uh, uh, very well designed and uh, they'll operate and they'll they'll perform it very well even with, uh, with, with really weak tubes. Let's see what it does up at the uh, up to one percent here. One percent is always kind of a nice uh, benchmark, for, in my opinion. Forty-three point eight, about forty-four watts. We have an input uh, voltage of about one hundred and seventeen. Anyway, that's it. That's what those. Uh, I didn't see anything on YouTube about these little flaring tubes, and uh, like I say, from what I read, uh, there wasn't. There wasn't much. Of an opinion out there, but it's okay if they flare up. It's very nice. That's a characteristic of the Mullards. Some of the Amperex. I don't think the Telefunkins do it. And I can't recall. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps.